Hi everybody, Adrienne here, and today I'm coming to you with a brand new release from Juvia's Place. This is the Berries palette, and I just wanted to give you a first impression of this palette. I by no way have had a lot of experience with it, but this is the Berries palette, and it's got beautiful packaging, just like all the other Juvia's Place palettes. This palette is one of four that they released on Christmas Day. And I think this is the first time Juvia's Place has ever released a six pan palette. So I'm excited to have the smaller palettes. Nine pan palettes are my favorite, but I don't mind a six pan palette. I just don't care as much for the bigger 12 and 16 pan palettes. So seeing more small palettes is definitely making me a lot happier. Like I said, this is one of four palettes. And if you purchase this palette individually from the Juvia's website, it is $13.99. I'm not sure if Ulta is going to carry it eventually, but right now I got this palette off the Juvia's Place website. And I did go ahead and order it in a bundle. It was $13.99 for each individual palette, or you could order the bundle for $52.99. And I will show you the outer packaging of the other three palettes that I got in that bundle. They have a violet palette that is gorgeous, making sure I can get this into focus for you guys that you're not getting a reflection. I think it's pretty shiny and not showing how pretty this packaging is, but this is the violets, and I guess I can open it up and let you see what the colors look like in this palette. You can expect in the next week or so me to have a first impression of this palette also. I will be doing that, and this is the Nudes palette, and its packaging is gorgeous also. Hopefully it's not too reflective and it's coming into focus, but I'm not going to hold it there for too long. But this is what the colors look like in this palette, and I'm not going to talk much about them because I will do a full first impression with it. And the fourth and final palette is the Chocolates palette, and this is what the packaging to it looks like. And let me go ahead and open this for you. These are the beautiful shades in this palette. So this is what I will be working on for the next few days is getting first impressions up of all four of these palettes for you guys. Well, now I guess I only have three to do since I've already created the look that I'm wearing today. But I do want to go ahead and put some swatches up for you guys of how this berry palette looks on my skin tone, and I'll be right back. Now that you've seen how those colors swatch on my skin tone, I'm going to get into the look that I created today and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts on the performance of this palette and what I think of the formulation of the shades.
first impression on this palette. I'm going to hold it up so that I can point to the colors while I'm talking about it. This palette, obviously, I'm sure you guys were able to see first off when I started working with it. These matte shades are pigments. So if you're somebody that's not comfortable with pigment palettes or don't want a bold in your face look, this palette is probably not for you. Or if you do decide to get it, you may want to pair it with a more softer neutral palette where you just snatch some colors out of here for a pop of color but to use the whole palette and create a look you're going to have a very bold vivid look like the one i have now with these pigmented shades um i did use a tacky base with my eyeshadow primer i was aware that these were pigments and that i was going to need to go in with a light hand otherwise i probably wouldn't be able to blend the pigments out with a tacky base so that's going to be really important that you do that and if you don't set your base when you go to put your matte shades down for your base shade, you're probably going to want to use a soft, fluffier brush like this one that I use to put this shade down. Otherwise, you're going to get a clump of color stuck in one place that you're probably not going to be able to blend out and soften with the rest of your shade. I think that um, it did blend out pretty well when I went in here to the brow bone, and I even took it out to the outer portion of the brow bone, but I didn't deepen the shade as dark as what it is on the inner corner of the brow intentionally because I wanted to still leave that a little bit highlighted and since there wasn't a light shade in here to do that with I just didn't intensify the color as deep. Also working with this pigment palette it's going to be very important to use uh, precision eyeshadow brushes with it. Really soft fluffy brushes like this one that I put the base shade down with I wouldn't recommend using that except for putting down your base shade but once you start doing your transitions like I took this elf blending brush here and went in with this color here this hot pink shade and these colors eh, I'm looking at the back of the palette they don't have names but this hot pink shade here I didn't want to lose this first pink shade that I put down so what you'll really want to do with this palette is pat your shades on and build the color up gradually in this precise place that you want it. Otherwise, your eyeshadows are going to muddy together. And I recommend when you're getting into the colors where you want to use them to deepen up the crease, like how I deepen the crease with this shade. And I went in with my, I think this is an Eason 35 brush, and this brush is pretty slanted. So I was able to control the shade and put it directly where I wanted it in here without blending it into this hot pink shade because I didn't want to lose that color. And then I think this one's an Eason 36 brush. If one is the 35, one is the 36 from Isam. I got it from the Muse Beauty website. But this one I went in with my darkest shade to really build this up in here and not lose any of the shade here because, like I said, they're pigmented and they're so intense. I could see this palette muddying together if you're not careful about the brushes you use. And they can be a little bit messy on the outer corner of the eye um, they went on really easy and they were very pigmented obviously like I said they're a pigmented eyeshadow so they went on really easy they were fairly easy to blend once I did get the base shade down and like I said I don't I can't remember if I said it or not if you're somebody that is a little bit nervous about the shadows sticking to your primer and you don't want it to look like that and take the risk of it being choppy. You may want to set it with a translucent powder or something first before you start working with it. I'll have to try that out and let you guys know in the future um, if that really in affects the intensity of the color. But today I just wanted the pure pigmentation of it so I was willing to take that risk but I felt like with the right brushes and really slowing down and making sure I was placing the colors directly where I wanted it. It wasn't a problem. But like I said, I think that it could muddy into each other and possibly ruin your look if you try to go too fast or don't use the right brushes. But I did have to clean up some in the corner of the eyes because I got a little messy with it. It is heavily pigmented. I enjoyed working with it. The shimmers went on so fast. Both of these colors, I felt like they, as soon as I dipped them in the pan and started putting them on the eyelid, they just deepened up so quickly and they were just 
perfect to work with. Um, I don't feel like I have any texture on my eyes. They blended well. I really do like this palette. And for $13.99, I think this is really awesome to have a palette of this quality and the metallics in this palette went on so easily. They just blended beautifully. They layer into one another really pretty and seamlessly because the color story is so close together. I really do like this palette. It's definitely a look. I wouldn't say it's for every day. Um, it's definitely going to get some attention if you wear this out. I think it's beautiful though. If you want a change and you want a big pop of color and maybe you're going to some type of event and I think this would look gorgeous with the right dress or the right outfit. You definitely probably wouldn't run into anybody that has a uh, eyeshadow look like yours if you went somewhere with this look on. But I would definitely buy this palette again if I had it to do all over and I'm happy with the way it performed for the first time. Like I said, I'll have to give you guys updates after I play with it with different primers and see if that affects the pigmentation of it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You'll also want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss the next palettes coming up. I'll see you guys soon.